The reason why you're not living a life of purpose right now is because you haven't designed it for yourself. Dan Co, the amazing entrepreneur, said that if you don't design a purpose for yourself, a purpose will be assigned to you. But I think what we get wrong is this whole concept of focusing way too much on our purpose and thinking that it has to be perfect before we pursue it. So there's the concept of Ikikai made out of four components of what you love, what the world needs, what you can be paid for, and what you're good at. And this creates a Venn diagram that in the center creates your Ikigai or your purpose. And the thing that everyone overlooks is that all of these four things can be pursued separately and that's okay. We're not always going to have this definitive core purpose that we're always going to be 100% aligned to. We're probably going to divert into each of these different directions with the four core components and that's okay because that in itself is a purpose. So just focusing on doing what you love is fine. Just focusing on showing up to your job, doing what you can get paid for is fine. Focusing on skills that you don't get paid for and that you don't love but you're really good at is also a good thing to to pursue and also working on what the world needs and that world might be someone who's close to you like family just being able to help out a friend with a tough situation is a purpose in itself so if you have this unrealistic and disillusioned idea that you can only pursue your purpose if it has all of these four components all at once then you're just wasting your time because no one successful that you admire just had this instant light bulb moment where they clicked and they found all of these four components all at once and pieced them together and the only reason it looks like that on the surface when you watch their videos or see them do their thing is because you know exactly what you need to do is just start on the thing that you know that you're avoiding my name is michael and it's my mission to make our love for gaming our greatest advantage in life and that's why I created Life Game Design. It's a self-improvement app that takes all of the philosophies and wisdom from the best-selling self-improvement books and puts them into a system that you can actually use to improve your life. It's currently free and you can download it in the description below and we're going to use this to define a purpose for each day in our lives using the design mini games. Here's the app Life Game Design and what we're going to do is in the free version even though I'm using the pro version. So over here are the mini games. Now the mini games are a self-improvement cycle and the cycle goes vision, design, focus, and reflect. What we're going to focus on today is design. And this is one stage ahead of vision where you would think what future success would look like. But at this point, we can just think and focus on a single day in our lives of what our purpose could be for just one day. Because I think really a lot of people like to procrastinate about the fact that they haven't found their purpose and they just use that as an excuse to keep on watching more videos about how to find their purpose in this perfect form factor that just doesn't exist. So over here, we're going to go into design and we're going to use the day design mini games over here there's also week designs but that's a pro feature so we'll go into day designs and now we're going to create a purpose for today using today designs you could also do this a day ahead with tomorrow design but we're just going to focus on what we've got today and just like a game i've broken this up into different levels of you to do and it's really clear the progression that you make so the whole process is rewind align and then we go into design with our projects and tasks and finally we review what the whole thing looks like so what we're going to create is this a day dashboard using projects and tasks and these projects and tasks are just a way for us to track all the things that we're going to do because there's so many different areas of life that you'll see soon that we can define a purpose in for each day so the first step here is rewind in this toggle and this will show us all of our task and project achievements and really what these are is everything that we've done the small wins over here and the big wins of everything that we've accumulated in the past to show us the undeniable stack of proof of how we got to where we are today. Because you have already achieved goals that you said would make you happy. And if you don't celebrate your successes like this, it's really hard to motivate yourself to build even more. So if I scroll down, I can see all of the recent achievements that I did even up until the other day. And this will give me two outcomes. If this board is really full, it's going to motivate me to keep this level of achievement and strive for even more. Or if this board is really empty and I can barely see anything in my achievements, that means I know that I have to do more to be able to see more. So that's the whole point of having this rewind stage. And then we go into align. So in the align section, we want to figure out what our purpose for today is or what will require our focus. Because just like we discussed in the previous Ikigai slide is that we have different components of our purpose. And to be honest, it's pretty hard to figure out what those things are without a framework to understand life itself. So that's why over here I created Octa cool it's a system to help you understand, organize, and optimize every area of your life. It kind of works like an attribute system in a game, and you can see that the color coding is inspired by the Infinity Stones by Marvel. I've got a full course on this that you can find in the app and also on my YouTube channel in the link in the description. But to make it really clear, let's look at these categories here. Octa-core are the eight 
core areas of life that we need to manage and optimize to lead a fulfilling life. Strength, doing exercise, training and recovering, persistence, which is life admin, experience, which is taking a break with hobbies and socializing, creativity, which is whatever your creative expression looks like, contribution, which is making progress at work or your career, intelligence, which is learning finance and planning, attachment, which is spending time with the people you love, and life force, which is self-care, reflection, and or spiritual connection. So using this, you can figure out which of these attributes would make today fulfilling or require your focus, because you're not supposed to and you wouldn't be able to do every single one of these things during a day. You kind of have to figure out what your purpose for the day is. Is it just making a little bit more progress? at work? Is it celebrating your friend's birthday or something? Is it learning a new skill or developing that skill you're already putting progress into? There's all these different avenues that you can take. And by using this journal, you'll figure out what that purpose is. And then you can lock in on it and understand that you don't have to beat yourself up about not being able to complete all of these different things at once. You've got some more journaling prompts here and you've got a focus intention here, which you'll learn to set in the Octacore course. But you can watch that in my other videos. For now, I just want to show you how it practically looks by organizing your projects here. So in your project section, you have all of the projects that you would have. I can see a calendar of what I've got and I can see my active projects for today. And basically I want to take these in this section and turn it into something that I'm going to do today in this section. Because what you want to do if you want to organize your life is just brain dump everything into life game design and let life game design remember all the stuff that you are aspiring to do, that you want to do, that you need to remember. So you don't have to constantly have those thoughts in your head distracting you and you can just focus on what's more important. So if I close these toggles, I can get rid of the clutter and see what I've already scheduled for today. And I use these different status options to separate these things out. So what am I focusing on right now for today. It's a video that I'm producing called The 5 Habits of Highly Effective Gamers. This is a video that I want to put a lot of time and effort into, so it's not going to be done today, it's going to be done in about a week. So I've broken this big project down into smaller steps, because why was I so addicted to games in the first place? Because they had these massive quest lines that they broke down into smaller and smaller and smaller pieces, and that's why it was so easy for me to start and so hard for me to stop. So using that mentality of being the game designer of your own life, we can do exactly the same thing by using projects and tasks. So over here, I've already broken this down into creating graphics and compiling the B-roll. I'll be doing that for the next six hours. And what I can do is I can even open this project up and divide this big project into smaller and smaller tasks. So for the project of compiling B-roll, what would I need to do? I need to find all the clips, download everything, put them all into timeline, and then cut and edit. And the coolest thing about this is that when I go back to my rewind, when I start the next day's design, I'll be able to see all of these things as achieved in this section. And I can be proud of all these things that I've done, these small little wins that I took to finishing this big task over here. So I'm gonna open this up in full view and do some really cool time blocking with all of these because I know that I need to get all of these done today. So I can just drag and drop these into the calendar so I know exactly when they're going to be getting done. Cool, so now that I know that I'm doing that, I can go back to the day design over here. So I can see I've got this main focus for today, which is getting most of my work done on this video. But also what I did in the morning was this leg workout. I hit I hit that as achieved because I've already finished that. And I can see these two sub projects of the main project that are already there and in my awaiting I have this video I might actually put that to focusing because I'm doing it right now and there's two more smaller things that I wanted to do I wanted to send five emails to find affiliates for life game design and then I also wanted to clean my room so there's all these kind of things that I want to get done today but to consolidate them into the one thing that would actually matter I have a highlight section over here so over here is where the highlight would go so I'm going to set the highlight for today as literally this video, how to live every day with purpose. So it's already in the focusing status. I'm gonna set that to urgent and important. If you wanna learn how to actually set them in life game design, you would go here, see the mini guide, open the highlight mini guide. And to learn more about highlights together, a highlight is a project that you choose to represent the day. And highlights don't always need to be productive. These are things like birthdays, movies, milestones, all of these things are highlights. And so down here you have the highlight criteria, but because you'll know it once you download it, we don't need to go over that. And so going back, I can see that just the simple thing of completing this video for today is the purpose of today. And I don't have to feel guilty about not having this like fully complete purpose 
this that's perfectly intertwined with all these different sections of Ikigai. I can just take pride on focusing on this and this alone. Now I can see my highlight for today. I can also optionally go into tasks and see if there's any other things that I would like to break down for what I want to get done today. And I can also open my task database on the left where I could see my overdue things. I can see the calendar of what I've got coming up for the whole week. And I can also see all of the ones that I have in all these different areas of my life. So let's say I come to this stage and there was a task I needed to do like water my plants. And then I could set the date to today and it would appear right here in the focusing thing. So opening this, I would set this as a persistence task because it has to do with life admin. And by doing this, you'll see later, but I'll be able to see all of the progress in all these different areas of life. So let's go to the review, which is the last stage because we know that we've accounted for our projects and tasks. And now our day design is pretty much complete. We can lock in on this. So I'm gonna click this button, which completes my day design. And it tells me that I've gained 24 hours of clarity. Today won't just be a great day. We've actually designed it to be one. And just by doing Doing this design itself, it gets added as an intelligence task achievement. You'll learn more about what that means in the optical course. But over here, we've got the today dashboard. So it shows me my highlight on the left. It shows me all of my projects that I've got. And this looks like a lot, but really all I've done is taken everything that I'm going to do and broken it down into smaller parts. But the advantage of this is that I can show myself how I'm showing up each day. Would this leg work out? Would doing something as simple as cleaning my room? And if I scroll down, I can see all of my tasks that have gone into today, and I can also see this octacore breakdown. So octacore are those eight areas of life, and it will create a board like this that will show you how you're doing in terms of your tasks for the day. So I can see that this is the creativity section. I have a day that is full of creativity, a bit of intelligence because I've already done this day design, and a bit of persistence because I'm managing my life admin and my environment. And this is why I created life game design and also the octocore system and the achievement system to build up all on one another so that just by playing the game of managing your life, you literally get immediate feedback on how your life looks in all these different areas of life. And once we're done with this design, it will ask us what game we want to play next or what we should play next within the cycle, because you'll see here in the mini game cycle, you've got design, focus and reflect. So we're at design and the next step is actually to go into focus. Because now that I know that I'm done with this design, what I would want to do is go to the focus mini games where I have the octacore course here. I have a focus intention game that you'll learn more about when you download life game design. And I've got this focus room here which is literally just a room for doing deep work. So I can see my projects that are in focus for today. That's this video. And I also have this Pomodoro timer so I can start that, get ready for my deep work and also break these things down into smaller and smaller steps so it's really clear and I can see my progression of how I get this done. And doing an absolute speed run of how this would work in a sequence is that I would finish this focus session and then I would go back to the main minigames homepage. And now since I've done my design, I've focused and achieved these things, now I want to reflect on my day. And so in the reflect minigames, I can go to day reflections, go to today reflection, and what I want to do is create a reflection dashboard by organizing these projects and tasks. I'm going to literally do the absolute speed run of this. So what I would do is uh, review this. I would click this button to set all of these projects as achieved just for the sake of this. And then I would scroll down and do the same thing with my tasks. You'll see them all pop up here. And now I'm going to skip the actual reflect stage just to show you the whole purpose of this. I want to go here. And now we can see our achievements dashboard for the day. So this is going to show me all of the projects that I did and all of the tasks. So the whole point of organizing your life with projects and tasks is to create this in the first place. We want to have something that we can look at and reflect on to be proud of by playing the game of organizing our lives, not just doing it for the sake of being productive or whatever. So that was an extremely quick rundown of how to design purpose in every single day of your life. And if you're watching this video to the end, you're probably going to do one of two things. You're going to watch more videos on how to find purpose that aren't going to help you take action, or you can just go and download life game design and get this done for yourself instead of just going into this productive procrastination of looking at more insights of how to discover purpose for yourself and all this kind of BS. It's currently free. So go download it, go define your own purpose with the design mini games. But if you want to see more of what life game design has to offer in terms of its free version, you can click this video. And if you want to learn more about the philosophy of life game design, you can click that video up there. I hope you design yourself a fulfilling day.